Hi, and thank you so much for joining me for today's at-home full body Pilates workout. In today's routine, we're gonna be sculpting all our major muscle groups. I'm gonna be using a set of three pound hand weights. You can go heavier, you can go lighter, depending on your level of strength. We are gonna be including a warm up and a cool down. So with that in mind, let's get right into it. I'm gonna place these weights off to the side of the mat because we don't need them for our warm up. I'd like you to position your wrists below your shoulders and your knees below your hips. Let's start off by dropping the belly, rolling the shoulders down away from the ears and bringing the gaze up, and then tucking the tailbone and rounding the spine, scooping the belly in. So let's inhale, arch, exhale, round, separating the vertebra. Inhale, arch, roll those shoulders down and back, and exhale, scoop your navel in towards your spine as you drop the crown of the head. Good, moving between the two positions, stretching and lengthening through the spine, and really connecting with that Pilates breath as we breathe in through the nose, and then we exhale through the mouth and engage the core. For three, two, and last one, push the mat away, curl the toes, and lift the hips up toward the ceiling. Stretching and lengthening into your downward dog, bend the knees as much as you need to to get that lift in the hips. Draw your heels as close as you can down toward the mat so that you're stretching through the back of the legs. And we're just gonna pedal out here drawing alternating heel down toward the mat, lifting those hips a little bit higher, really flattening out the upper back here, head hangs heavy between your shoulders. Let's go for three, two, and one. Nice, level out the heels, come forward into a high plank, hold there. Now from here, we're gonna drop the left knee and take a nice big circle in the air with that right knee. Opening up in the hip as you bring that right knee up, around and back for three, two, and one. Lower knee, pike back up into your downward dog. Stretch and lengthen. Come forward into high plank, holding for four. Lift abdominal wall, three, two, and one, lower the right knee, and then draw those big circles in the air with that left knee, opening up the hip on that left side. <sighs> Getting that knee up nice and high, mobilizing the hip joint for two, and last one, nice work. Now from here, from our all fours position, we're gonna extend the right arm out long, keeping the shoulders level, and then reach and stretch back. Come forward, reach and stretch back. Really lengthen through those fingers. Stretch the neck as you look back over your shoulder. And last one. Lengthen and stretch and bring the arm down. Let's switch sides. Extend the left arm out long, and then reach and stretch back. Good, inhale forward and pull back on the exhale. Nice work. Last two, really get as much length as possible. And final one, nicely done. Now from here, we're gonna come into a kneeling position. We're going to hinge slightly from the hips, creating a nice flat back. Gaze is just up a head on the floor, and then we're gonna pull down the elbows. Extend and pull down. So as you extend, I really want you to keep that back nice and flat, and as you pull down, I want you to envision growing taller up through the crown of the head, really lengthening the spine and activating the upper back muscles as you draw those elbows in toward the side of the body. Core is engaged for four, three, two, pull it down, and last one, nice work. Let's bring our feet on the floor and just warm up the abdominal wall before we pick up those weights. So we're gonna sit 
in a nice tall upright position. Take your hands behind your thighs, legs are hip distance apart. We're gonna curve back into the shape of the C with the spine and then scoop the belly in to lift. Inhale, curve back and then exhale, pull navel in toward the spine. Inhale, curve it back, release the hands if you feel strong here and then come up to your seated position. So tuck the tailbone, roll it back, keep those legs parallel and then scoop navel in to lift. Shoulders are down away from your ears. Come back a little bit further each time if you can, really starting to contract the abdominal wall and work those muscles to get that lift. Lower down and belly to spine to lift. Last one, we're gonna come down and hold for 10, nine, eight abs in, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Deep inhale and exhale, pull belly in, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, the whole way up. Nice work. Now I'm gonna take hold of my weights and roll all the way down to the mat. We're gonna go into a crunch series here and really get deep into those core muscles. So I'm gonna take the weight over the shoulders, palms are facing in toward each other, the legs are hip distance apart, knees are bent. Inhale here and exhale, curl and crunch up, bringing the weights to the side. Inhale to lower, exhale, curl and crunch up. Inhale, lower, exhale, pull your belly button down toward your spine as you lift. <sighs> Amazing, lower and lower back connects with the mat as we crunch up. Good. Now as you come up, we're rest, you're gonna be resting your head on top of your shoulders so there's no strain in the neck and your gaze looks out between your thighs. Good. Inhale to lower, exhale, peel up a little bit higher, lifting those shoulder blades up off the mat. Nice work. Full contraction of the core as you pause for that split second hold at the top of every lift. Good. For three and two, really flatten abdominal wall. And last one, nice work. Now we're gonna place the weights together. Palms stay facing in. I'm gonna keep the knees bent, but this time I'm gonna roll all the way up and then Connect with those abs as I roll down. Lift up, reaching the arms up high, and then roll down one vertebra at a time. Good work. Now if it's too much for you to come all the way up off the mat, you can hold it here and you can curve back and then lift. Curve back and then lift. Otherwise you're coming all the way up from the floor working those upper abs on the way up and really connecting with those lower abs on the way down. Good. <sighs> Nicely done. Peel up and then lower one bone at a time on your way down. Really control the roll down so don't kind of just flop back down to the mat. Try to lower down one bone at a time. Good, making sure that those abs are engaged the entire time, whether you're coming up or rolling down. Amazing, we've got three and two, belly to spine, and last one, and roll it down, nice work. Lower your weight just for a moment, give your arms a little bit of a rest, and now from here, we're gonna get into some oblique work. So I'm gonna take my weights together, palms facing in. I'm going to lift just the right heel so the right toes are in contact with the mat. From here, weights are over the shoulders. We're gonna inhale. And as we exhale, we're gonna extend the right leg and cross over to the right with those weights. Lower, weights over shoulders, knee bends and then lift. So you're elongating that leg as you cross over, pressing your low back into the mat. 
so you're not sort of twisting in the hips too much here. You want to be really isolating this work in the torso so that you can get deep into those obliques. Good. <sighs> Stretch and really point through the toe so your leg is nice and straight and active <sighs> as we make that crossover. <sighs> really challenging yourself by picking your left shoulder blade right up off the mat. Good, inhale to lower, exhale to cross over for two, lift a bit higher, nice work. And last one, we're gonna hold it here, lower the leg and lift for nine, eight, seven, amazing work, six, pulling belly to spine, four, you've got this, three, Nearly there, two, and one, lift it up and lower it down. You can bring your knees in towards your chest for a moment, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, stretching out the lumbar spine for three, two, and one. Okay, let's switch sides. So bring the weights together, up over the shoulders, lift the left heel up off the mat, inhale here, and exhale to cross over. Nice, tap toe to the mat and then fully extend as you pick that right shoulder blade up off the floor. Good. <sighs> Amazing work. <sighs> Stretch and lengthen and cross over again, keeping your lower back pressing into the mat as you do so. Good, we've got five. Lift up a little higher for four. Stretch and lengthen that leg. Three. <sighs> nice work for two. And final one. Hold it there. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. We've got eight. <sighs> Seven. Really pick your head up so it's resting on top of your shoulders. Five. Lift up a little higher into your crunch. Three, two, and one. Amazing work. Nicely done. Okay, now from here, we're gonna bring the knees in toward the chest. We're going to take the weights up over the shoulders, palms facing in toward each other. We're inhaling here, and as we exhale, we're curling and crunching up, extending the legs. So weight over the shoulders, bend the knees, and then extend, pointing through the toes, squeezing the legs together. Good, inhale and exhale, flattening your abdominal wall every time you crunch up. Good. Now if you want to extend the level of challenge, you can keep head, neck, and shoulders lifted as you move between the two positions. If that's too much on the neck, Lower between each repetition. Good. We've got five and four. Last three, belly to spine for two. And final one, amazing work. Lower head, neck and shoulders down. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. From here, we're gonna roll all the way up to a seated position. And I would like you to take both of your weights or one of your weights in towards your chest. We're gonna go into some twists to really get deep into those obliques. So I'm holding the weight together like so. I'm curving back into the C curve that we practiced during our warm up, And we're just gonna rotate, keeping the hips evenly weighted from side to side. So keep those elbows nice and wide. Weight stays right in the center of your chest and you're rotating your chest from side to side. Now a little reminder here to keep your shoulders down away from your ears and really connect with those obliques. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center, roll it up. We're gonna take another 20 twists. So we're gonna inhale here, sitting up nice and tall, 
exhale, curve back into your C shape, plug your abdominals in, and then twist, 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 nice. Now if this is hurting your lower back, you might wanna come up a little bit higher out of your C curve. Make sure, have a look at those knees, make sure they're not swaying from side to side. Your aim is to keep your lower body nice and stationary here so that you're isolating this work in the waistline. Good, for five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center and roll up. One more set like that. So you can challenge yourself by coming back a little bit further this time if you have the strength to do so. Really make sure that your abs are plugged in and let's go. Twisting from side to side. Shoulders away from those ears. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center, roll it up and fold over your lower body. You can take a hold of your calves or your ankles or your feet, whatever you can reach. Drop the crown of your head and just stretch here for a moment. For five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Now we're gonna get into our upper body work. So I would like you to come up into an all fours position. We can hold onto the weights like so in the fists with the fists below the shoulders. If that's uncomfortable for your wrist, I'd like you to just Get rid of one of the weights and just keep the weight in your right hand and place your wrist below your shoulder on that left side, on the supporting side. So from here, I'm going to ensure that the spine is nice and long, the tailbone is slightly tucked so we're not overarching in the back. And we're going to pull that weight up and then straighten the arm, bend and lower. Now your aim here is to keep your shoulders level, so think about that, right shoulder in level with your left as you lift that elbow, extend that leg, switching on the tricep, bend and lower. Lift, extend, bend and lower, good. Lift, extend, bend and lower. Now keep your gaze down on the mat, your neck in line with your spine, so try not to lift or drop your head. Full extension and then lower. Now as you extend, I want you to really squeeze all the muscles in the back of your arm. Really straighten, get that elbow up nice and high. Good, for six, five, nice level shoulders for four, good work, three, two, and on our last one, we're gonna come up, hold, bend, extend, bend, extend, good. Keep those shoulders square with the mat. Keep that elbow nice and lifted. We've got five, four, extend and bend, three, I know it's tough, stick with it, two, and final one, amazing. Okay, I'm gonna lower that right weight. Position the right wrist below the shoulder, and I'm gonna take the weight in the left hand. Make sure you've got all those checkpoints, the shoulders are level, the hips are square with the mat, the tailbone is gently tucked. We're lifting that left elbow, extending, bending, and lowering. Good. Lift that elbow up nice and high, full extension, bend and lower. Really squeeze the backs of the arms as you straighten that arm. Squeeze the back of the arm as you straighten that arm. Good work. Abs are plugged in. Let's go five, four. Try not to lift up that left shoulder too high. Three, two, and final one. Bring it up, extend and bend. Extend and bend, nice work. So six, five, four, keep that elbow lifted, three, 
two abs in and one amazing work. Ooh. Okay, from here we're going to come into a kneeling position, but with all of this weight work, you can be stood if that's more comfortable for you. I'm just gonna be kneeling for space. I'm going to plug my belly button in towards my spine, stack the vertebra. If you're stood, you want your feet hip distance apart here. We're going to bring the weight up at shoulder height. Shoulders are down away from the ears, the neck is long. We're gonna lift the right arm and then return it to shoulder height. Lift the left arm to shoulder height. Pull the right elbow back and pull the left elbow back. Repeat, lift, lift, pull back, keeping hips facing forward and pull back. Good, lift, lift. So we're trying not to let the weight drop any lower than shoulder height. As we lift up and down and pull back. Nice work, lift, lift. Keep those shoulders down away from your ears. Nicely done. Gaze is straight ahead. Chin is parallel with the floor and the crown of the head is lifted up toward the ceiling. So we're really nice and tall here. Working that posture as we work these upper body muscles. Good. Last set. Lift, lift, pull it back and pull it back. Nicely done. Okay, so now we're gonna go into some bicep curls. So we're going to bring the weight facing up toward the ceiling, holding the weight out in front. We're gonna pull the fists back toward the shoulders. Now your aim here is to keep those upper arms at shoulder height. Try not to lean back as you pull the weight toward the shoulders. Come forward and pull back. Come forward and contract those biceps as you pull back. Let's go six, five. Keep those upper arms elevated, shoulders away from the ears. Three, two, abs in. And last one, amazing. Now keeping the weight at the shoulders, I'm gonna turn and face you. We're again keeping the weight at shoulder height, but now we're opening up to the sides and then pulling the weight toward the shoulders. So don't, try not to let those shoulders come up by the ears. Don't drop the head, keep the chin parallel with the floor. Good. Bringing the arms out and then flexing and bringing the weight toward the shoulders. Nice work, keep those elbows elevated. Don't let them drop. Trying to keep that upper arm really nice and stationary as you hinge from the elbows. Nice. Let's go four, three, nice long neck, two, and one. Amazing. Now from here, we're going to take the weights and we're going to cross one arm in front of the other. Lift the arms up to about shoulder height and we're just going to pulse up with those fists. Eight, seven, six, five, four, nice long neck, two and one. Now we're going to switch the crossing of the arms and pulse up again for 10, nine, eight, lift those elbows, six, five, four, burning in those shoulders, two and one, nicely done. Lower the weight and give those shoulders a bit of a roll. <sighs> Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth as you release tension in the upper body. And now we're gonna switch our focus onto our glutes. So I'm gonna roll down, bringing my weights with me, one vertebra at a time. Relaxing head, neck, and shoulders down on the floor, positioning the heels so that they're below the knees and we want our legs hip distance apart. From here, I'm gonna place my weight on either hip. We're going to tuck the tailbone, curving the spine back, flattening the lower back down into the mat. 
and then from that flat back position, keeping the tailbone tucked, we're gonna lift those hips up. So from here, we're gonna lower, lift, widen the knees, back to parallel, lower, lift, widen, and to parallel, good. Lower, lift, press up through the heels, widen those knees, bring them to parallel, and repeat. Good. I want you to really plug your navel in here as well so you're protecting your low back. Imagine you've got a corset around your waist, pulling and holding everything in nice and tight. Good. As we abduct those knees, we're really squeezing the thighs and engaging with the gluteus medius muscles. Good. Lift, abduct, back to parallel and lower. Amazing. Good, we've got four. Stick with it. Three, elevate those hips. Two, widen the knees. And last one, open and close. We're gonna hold here, lower the hips and lift. Little micro pulses here. We're going for 20, keep the tailbone tucked. Core engaged, driving up through those heels, working the back body for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. You can place your weight off to the side. We're not gonna use it for any of the remaining exercises. I'd like you to take your right hand over your right knee, left hand over your left knee, and just circle those knees in opposite directions for three, and two, and one. Take your hands behind your thighs, roll yourself up to a seated position, and now we're gonna move into an all fours position to really work those glutes. So, wrists below the shoulders, knees below the hips. I'm gonna extend my left leg out long, and from that position, we're going to go into some rainbow taps. So we're gonna lift the left leg up and cross it over. Lift up and cross over, drawing a nice big rainbow arc in the air. That's two. Let's go three and four. Hold in the middle of the lift, drop the right forearm down to the floor. Bring the left knee in and extend. Bring it in, extend. Last two, final one. Back into your all fours position and we're moving right back into those rainbow taps. Good. Two, three, cross over for four, and hold in the center of the lift. Knee in and extend in a diagonal. Knee in, extend for three, and four. Back to all fours, cross it over. One, two, three, and four, hold, knee in, extend, nice, really drive out through the toe as you extend that leg on a diagonal, and then go right back into those four rainbow taps, squeeze your bum at the top of every lift, nicely done, and hold, in, out on a diagonal, in and out. Last one, and back to our rainbow taps, good. Squeezing the glutes. Last one, hold, in, out, in, out. Really drive through that big toe as you extend the leg. Now we're going into our last set here. We're gonna lift up and over for four. And now this time we're gonna hold at the top of the lift, extend the arms out long, and we're gonna pulse that heel up toward the ceiling. 20 pulses here. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your forearm, extend the leg out on a diagonal, flex the foot, and pulse that heel out on a diagonal for 20. Good. Final stretch here, engage the core, lift that heel up toward the ceiling. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Amazing. Take your knees nice and wide. And stretch and lengthen through the spine. For 4, 3, 2, and 1. Return to your all fours position. Now we're going to extend the right leg out long. We're going to cross over into our rainbow taps keeping the hips square with the mat. Three and four, hold. One, two, abs in. Three and four, amazing, nice form. Cross over. Two, three and four, hold. In, extend in, extend, really strengthening the side booty area, keeping the waistline contracted as you do so. So your navel is plugged in towards your spine, protecting your lower back. Good, full extensions. Square the hips and return to those rainbow taps. Good. And hold, good. Nice work. Square the hips and tap up and over, squeezing the glutes at the top of every lift. Nice long neck, keep those shoulders down away from the ears from this side, diagonal position. Good. Squeeze the bum, squeeze up and over. One, two, three, and four. Two more sets, you're doing great, stick with it. Two, three, and four. In, extend, in, extend. Full extension. Last set, we're gonna go over and over and three and four. Hold in the middle, extend the arms out long, plug belly in and pulse that heel up toward the ceiling. Good, keep pulsing. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop onto your forearm, come out in a diagonal, and pulse that heel up. <sighs> Amazing work, you can do it. Keep pulsing. <sighs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower the knee down. From here, step back into plank. Fold your left leg under your body and come into pigeon pose, stretching and lengthening. <sighs> Up through the crown of the head, sinking deep into that pigeon pose to stretch the glutes and the hips. <sighs> Relax your shoulders. <sighs> and let's cool it right down. Whew, that was quite a burnout at the end. So focus on regulating your breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Step back and fold opposite leg under the body. Releasing tightness in the hips, stretching and lengthening through the glutes that we just worked so hard. Breathing deeply. For five, four, three, two, and one. 
Nice work. Come back, take the knees nice and wide. Walk the hands out in front, keep the hips elevated and stretch and lengthen through the tailbone. Drawing the armpits down toward the floor, stretching out the upper back in puppy pose. For five, four, three, two, and one. Rolling yourself up to a seated position. We're just going to cross that left arm over the body, stretching out the shoulder. For three and two. And one, switch sides. Breathing deeply. For five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your left foot in towards your right thigh. Cross over, folding and stretching. Try to connect your left bum cheek with the floor. Try not to let it lift so you can really feel that length from the hip all the way through the side body. For four, three, two, and one. Lift it up. Switch your legs. and fold over. Relax your neck. Stretch a little bit more deeply, folding over the lower body for five, four, three, two, and one. Cross your legs. Let's lift the shoulders up by the ears. Inhale and exhale. Roll them down and back. For two, shrugging away tension in those shoulders. And last one, and we are done. Amazing work. Thank you so much for joining me for that weighted routine. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to moving again with you next time. See you soon.